the economic injustice is, is terrible and has been getting worse for, for many years now. The bank bailout was certainly a tipping point for me. Uh, and, and the situation with student loan debt is out of control. I mean, uh, I think the system is close to collapsing and, and people largely may not know that, but I, I think there is a sense out there that um, things are in really bad shape economically. I would not be thrilled with Occupy um, being co-opted uh, in any way by the Democratic Party or the Republican Party or the Libertarian Party or anyone. I'm speaking for myself personally, but I mean, I think I think by and large everyone at Occupy would agree that we are not about politics. We're about truly reforming the system and, and, and revolutionary change. Um, because the time for the kind of change that we've been trying to do through our current elected officials um, over the past, in my opinion, at least the past 20 years, uh, has been totally ineffective. And if they've gotten us into this mess in collusion with the, uh, obviously, the industrial complex and the military, and certainly the, the mainstream media has been very much part of that too. It was traumatic uh, losing the camp and of course um, occupies around the country it's happened to most of the occupies at this point um, uh, on the other hand it's allowed us to move into a new phase and I would say a stronger phase and um, we have a saying um, evict us will multiply occupy will never die and it sounds cliche but I find it's true revolutionary change could happen and, and will happen and if it it, it must happen um, I mean, we haven't had our um, Tahrir moment, we haven't had our, uh, you know, Tunisia moment yet, um, but I think it's coming. Um, I, I mean, I think we, it's, it has to amount, amount to real change and real reform. I mean, a complete overhaul of the banking system, absolutely necessary. Um, uh, beyond that, um, I don't know, this is, a, this is a peaceful revolution, completely peaceful. And um, and, I, and I think that's part of our strength as well. Um, I think as long as we continue on without fear, um, then anything really is possible. A new world really is possible.